The year was 1923, a time when the world was recovering from the ravages of the First World War. The scars of conflict were still fresh, yet amidst the turmoil, progress was being made. Nations were rebuilding, technologies were advancing, and in the field of science, a thirst for knowledge was driving exploration into uncharted territories. In the realm of paleoanthropology, this was a golden era. Researchers were pushing the boundaries of our understanding, delving deeper into our past than ever before. It was a time of great discovery, a time when the mysteries of human evolution were beginning to unravel. Halfway across the world, in the rugged hills of Jokudian, China, a discovery was on the horizon. A discovery so significant it would send shockwaves through the scientific community and beyond. In this backdrop of global unrest and scientific curiosity, a discovery was made that would forever change our understanding of human evolution. In the limestone hills near Beijing, China, a remarkable discovery was waiting to be unearthed. In the early 20th century, an international group of scientists and archaeologists, led by the Swedish geologist Johan Gunnar Andersson, began excavations in Jokudian, a cave system near Beijing. In the year 1929, their diligence bore fruit when they unearthed the first skull cap of what would later come to be known as the Peking Man. This wasn't just any old find, it was a treasure trove of ancient hominid remains, some dating back nearly half a million years. But what made this discovery truly groundbreaking was that these fossils, these fragments of the past, were remnants of Homo erectus, our direct evolutionary ancestor. The scientific community was abuzz with excitement. The Peking Man fossils provided a tangible link to our evolutionary past, a window into a time when humanity was still taking its first tentative steps towards becoming the species we are today. They were the earliest evidence of the use of fire by early humans, hinting at the dawn of civilization. However, not everyone was ready to accept these fossils as definitive proof of human evolution. The discovery sparked a heated debate among scholars and religious figures alike, igniting a controversy that would last for years. Some questioned the veracity of the fossils, while others outright rejected the idea of human evolution clinging to more traditional beliefs. In the midst of this controversy, the Peking Man fossils became precious relics of our past. They were held in high esteem by the scientific community and guarded jealously by the Chinese authorities. These fossils were more than just old bones. They were keys to understanding our origins and they held the power to change our perception of ourselves as a species. But little did anyone know that these precious fossils would soon be swept up in a whirlwind of mystery and intrigue. As the Second World War loomed on the horizon, the Peking Man fossils found themselves in a precarious situation. The world was on edge, and the precious fossils representing a pivotal moment in human evolution were at risk. It was in the late 1930s that the decision was taken to move these invaluable fossils to a safer location. The United States was chosen as the safest refuge. The fossils were packed with the utmost care, each piece cocooned in cotton wool, then boxed and crated. The plan was to transport these crates from China to the United States via sea, a journey that would take several weeks. However, as fate would have it, the fossils never made it to their destination. They vanished, seemingly into thin air, leaving a void in the field of anthropology. The ship set sail, but the crates containing the fossils were never offloaded in the United States. It was as if they had been swallowed by the sea. The disappearance of the Peking Man fossils sent shockwaves around the globe. The scientific community was left bewildered, grappling with the loss of such a significant piece of human history. Theories began to emerge in the wake of their disappearance. Some suggested that the ship had been sunk by enemy forces, while others speculated that the fossils had been stolen or even misplaced in the chaos of war. Despite exhaustive efforts to locate them, the fossils remained elusive. The passage of time only deepened the mystery, turning the missing fossils into a sort of archaeological legend. The Peking Man fossils, once tangible evidence of our ancient past, had now become a tantalizing enigma. Whether they lie at the bottom of the ocean, concealed in an overlooked storage room, or in the possession of a private collector, we may never know. The whereabouts of the Peking Man fossils remained a mystery, sparking one of the greatest archaeological manhunts in history. 
For decades, the Peking man fossils remained lost, their fate shrouded in secrecy and conjecture. What had happened to these invaluable relics of human history? This question has intrigued and baffled historians and scientists alike, sparking numerous theories and investigations. Many believe that the fossils made a great escape during the chaos of World War II. In the midst of the conflict, as the Japanese forces closed in on Beijing, the fossils were packed into wooden crates and entrusted to U.S. Marines for transport to safety. The plan was to ship them across the Pacific to the American Museum of Natural History. But destiny had other plans. The fossils never made it to their intended destination, disappearing without a trace. The quest for the lost fossils has been as relentless as it has been fruitless. A myriad of theories have sprung up to explain their disappearance. Some argue that they were seized by Japanese soldiers, while others suggest that they may have been lost at sea during a tumultuous Pacific storm. Another theory posits that they were hidden away by Chinese nationalists to prevent them from falling into the wrong hands. Over the years, numerous investigations have been launched in an attempt to solve this enduring mystery. Expeditions have delved into the depths of the ocean, hoping to retrieve the lost crates. Archaeologists and historians have scoured archives and interviewed veterans in search of any leads. Yet despite these exhaustive efforts, the whereabouts of the fossils remain unknown. The mystery surrounding the great escape of the Peking Man fossils has only added to their allure. These relics of our past, once a testament to human evolution, have become a symbol of human intrigue and the thirst for knowledge. Their disappearance has spawned countless stories and legends, each more captivating than the last. The Peking Man fossils were more than just pieces of bone. They held the key to understanding our ancient ancestors, offering a glimpse into the origins of humanity. Their loss was a blow to the scientific community, but it did not dampen their spirit. The quest for knowledge is relentless, and the search for the lost fossils continues to this day. The tale of the Peking Man fossils serves as a poignant reminder of the fragility of our history. They were a beacon of scientific discovery, a testament to human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Their disappearance, however, is a stark reminder of how easily our heritage can be lost amidst the chaos of war and conflict. The Peking Man fossils, once a beacon of scientific discovery, had now become a symbol of lost heritage and enduring mystery. Their story is one of intrigue, of a search that spans decades and crosses continents. It is a tale that continues to captivate us, a mystery that remains unsolved. As we delve into the depths of our past, the story of the Peking Man serves as a reminder of the treasures that lie within our history, waiting to be discovered. Despite their disappearance, the Peking Man fossils have left an indelible mark on the world of paleoanthropology. The legacy of the Peking Man fossils is as enduring as it is profound. These relics, once buried deep within the Earth's crust, have given us valuable insights into our own evolutionary history. They stand as silent witnesses, testifying to the indomitable spirit of human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. The Peking Man fossils have significantly shaped our understanding of Homo erectus, an early species in the human lineage, providing evidence of the existence of hominids in East Asia over half a million years ago. These fossils have challenged and refined our perspectives on human evolution. They've allowed us to piece together a more comprehensive narrative, one that underscores the complexity and diversity of our shared past. The influence of the Peking Man extends beyond the realm of paleoanthropology. The fossils have sparked a global interest in early hominids, igniting the curiosity of scholars and laymen alike. They've inspired countless research endeavors each endeavor a testament to the enduring allure of these ancient remnants. Even today, the Peking Man fossils continue to captivate the scientific community. Researchers worldwide are still actively studying early hominids, hoping to glean further insights from these enigmatic figures of our past. The ongoing interest in the Peking Man fuels the hope for their eventual recovery. And though their whereabouts remain unknown, the quest for these fossils is far from over. In the grand tapestry of human history, the Peking Man fossils are but a single thread. Yet their impact is far-reaching, their legacy indelible. They remind us that our story is one of resilience and discovery, a journey that spans epochs and continents. 
While the Peking man fossils may be lost, their story continues to captivate us, reminding us of the fascinating journey of human evolution and the mysteries that still lie waiting to be discovered.